It was um, the death of my mother in January 1991. My mother was a brilliant woman. Uh, most of her adult life she spent uh, teaching eighth grade English. Um, she was from a very poor family in Waco. They lived a block from Baylor University. She put herself through Baylor, working full-time the registrar's office, and I didn't know until after she passed. She'd been an honor student, honor society person at Baylor, even working full-time, but she's a brilliant lady. And all through the 80s, um, she would say stuff like, you know, God meant for you to be a public servant and you'd be a good judge, stuff like that. And I'd say, Mother, I don't want to be a judge. I, I make more money than judges make. Um, there's some lawyers I would not want to sit there and have to listen to. I have no interest in being a judge. After she passed away in January of 91, then I started thinking about the things my brilliant mother used to say. and. Uh, I was wondering, well, you know, maybe I am supposed to be a public servant, I, but a judge. So my wife and I'd wrestle with it, prayed about it, and, uh, you know, nowadays I've said, you know, I felt like uh, Congress was a calling, and some reporters say, have you heard voices? Going, no, I wish I heard voices. Gosh, that would be so nice. People didn't give us a snowball's chance of winning. Uh, the most politically plugged in person I knew in the county called me on Sunday night before the Tuesday election in the, in the primary and said, Louie, when you first said you were running for judge, thinking about it, I knew you didn't have a chance, but man, you have worked so hard. You, I, I, I think you, it's a 50-50 chance this election could go either way. You've done an incredible job no matter how it turns out. And uh, anyway, I told my wife, I said, it feels better than 50-50. I don't know, maybe it's just us, but I said, I know it does. It feels like you're doing well. But anyway, we won with 70% of the vote. And um, then three terms on the, uh, I promised I wouldn't run for more than three, four year terms. And after a decade on the bench as a district judge handling, handling uh, major civil litigation and uh, felonies, including uh, death penalty cases, I just felt like we have got to change some federal laws. We need to fix some things. And then that led eventually to a piece, all right, looks like running for Congress is what we're going to do. So, uh, so I would say there are pivot points in there, but the big one was going back to when my mother passed away and the influence she had and just thinking about the things my smart mother said. And by the way, I never brought up what triggered me running during the campaign, never brought it up. Just ran on the basis I could do a better job, I could uh, get rid of the massive backlog, I could be more just, and ran on those things, and that, that was enough.